Next, we're going to move to um, palpation of the abdomen. And for the initial light palpation technique, we're just going to rest uh, my left hand on our abdomen and then my right hand on top of it. And I'll be pushing very lightly with my top hand and feeling with my bottom hand. We'll feel palpate in each of the four quadrants of the abdomen in a light fashion. After doing light palpation, we'll move to more deep palpation, which is the same technique. I'm just going to push a little harder. So you may feel a little discomfort as I push into your abdomen. Try to take some nice deep breaths to keep your abdomen relaxed as I move through this maneuver. Sometimes by encouraging your patient to relax, you can feel better through the abdominal wall. And of course, you're feeling for masses um, or any other abnormal things underneath. Sometimes when patients are more tense, you really can't feel very well through the abdominal wall. So Mary, I'd like you to bring your feet up, if you would, and put them flat down on the, on the table. I'm also going to have you take your arms and bring them off to your side. And then just take a nice deep breath and exhale fully, if you would. And now in this more relaxed position, I could try my deep palpation technique again. And indeed, uh, Mary's abdomen is relaxed much more, and it's much easier to feel all the way through the abdominal wall musculature into the lower portions of the abdomen. Okay. Next, we'll move to palpation of the liver. Again, examining the abdomen from the right side of the body. We'll take the left hand and put it underneath the rib cage here on that right side. And then the upper hand will come right to here to the lower costal margin, which is the bottom edge of the rib cage, right up in this area. So I'll gently push down with my left hand as I'm very gently lifting up with my lower um, hand like this. Mary, I'd like you to take a nice deep breath if you would. Inhale all the way, and then exhale completely. As she exhales, I gently push down with my upper hand, feeling for the smooth, um, non-tender, regular edge of the liver. Let's go ahead and do that again. Breathe in, and then exhale. All the while, I'm actually watching her face for grimaces or levels of discomfort that may occur during a deep palpation maneuver so that I can back off just a little if she really appears uncomfortable. If there's an abnormality, I might feel a nodular, rough, very tender edge to the liver in this same area on this technique. Let's just do it one more time. And exhale completely. I'll feel as she exhales. Very good. So next we'll move to palpation of the spleen. The spleen again located on the left side of the abdomen. And we use a very similar technique. I'm going to cross over with my upper left hand and put it just underneath the costal margin over here. Are you okay with my hand in this spot? And then I'm going to take my right hand and palpate just underneath the costal margin, um, but much, for, much further lateral than in the liver technique. And once I get just below the, the rib edge there, I'll ask her again to take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale completely. And then palpate and sweep underneath that liver edge. I'm gently lifting up with my lower hand. And I'm really palpating quite deeply with my upper hand. Let's do that technique again. Mary, if you would, just take a nice deep breath. And then exhale. I'm palpating deeply as she exhales, watching for facial expressions, and feeling for between my lower and upper hand the sensation of the spleen um, coming up uh, and, and feeling that firmness between the hands. It would be normal to not palpate anything when you palpate the spleen. To palpate the kidney, we're just going to drop a little bit lower and use the same technique. Now my hand is located more in the small of her back. And again, take a nice deep breath and exhale. 
and it would be normal not to feel anything in this area unless the kidney was enlarged. And we can repeat that same technique over on this side, putting the hand down in the small of the back and palpating just over the top of the iliac crest. Take a nice deep breath and exhale completely, feeling between my hands for the fullness of what would be an enlarged kidney in that area. Next, we'll move to palpating the aorta. The aorta, which extends down the center of the abdomen, can be, pal be palpated by using a technique where we push our hands down just to the left of the umbilicus, feeling for the pulsations of the aorta. This is another one of those techniques that involves very deep palpation, and indeed, the patient may not be comfortable with this. So you kind of need to keep an eye on their face to watch for their level of comfort. Um, also, that technique we used earlier where we bring the knees up, which I'm going to ask you to do again, Mary, if you would, bring your feet up and let your hands relax. Mm -hmm. um, this is really helpful to let those abdominal wall uh, muscles relax when we do this technique. Once you find the, palpate, the, um, the pulsations of the aorta, you can use two hands on either side of the umbilicus, feeling straight down and then gently together to try to feel and estimate the width of the pulsating aorta. Take a nice deep breath in and just exhale. Very good. There are other special abdominal tests that will also be uh, taught and demonstrated um, later on in the PDS course.